Officer on leave tonight after a shooting on Pueblo's east side. It started around 9 this morning and this evening investigators are still on scene. Our Bill Folsom is live at 19th and Monument tracking the situation. Bill. Yeah, Diane, we've got some updates for you. They just opened the road so people can get to their homes and we can step out and show you where this all happened at this house. There's definitely still yellow tape up here. This is an incident with reports of a gun pulled over something relatively minor and it ended up deadly all day now and still ongoing. There is an investigation. Uh, this morning when I woke up, I heard four gunshots rapid succession. It happened in a part of town where neighbors say they feel safe, but sometimes hear gunshots in the distance. They woke this morning to something different. It's pretty common in this area, but it sounded really close to me, so that's why I looked out the window right away. Steve Pena lives just a couple doors away. It seemed to me like he shot at a police officer. We came here for code enforcement, and then it escalated from there. Code enforcement came to deal with complaints about weeds and trash. They had to call for police officer support. Somebody in the residence exited and threatened them with a firearm. A basic code enforcement situation turning to police action involving SWAT. Police arrived on scene shortly after there were shots fired. One man dead, no police officers injured. Investigators have not yet confirmed who shot first. There was then a standoff with others in the house. They ignored our commands to come out for several hours, and then they finally did. Now, Pueblo police, they are here, but they are outside of the yellow tape handling any questions with neighbors inside the yellow tape. It is outside agencies doing this investigation. We have seen CVI officers coming and going. They are looking into this and will handle the investigation. By the way, this is the second police involved shooting in Pueblo this year in Pueblo. Bill Folsom, News 5.